Hey guys, Linda here. Come back at you with another video today. I'm doing my August 2020 TBR. Now, some of these books I've are already I've shown you before because they were on my old TBR, which I didn't finish. Because what I do, if I don't finish book from my TV, my TBR that I started, I just take them and put them on the next TBR. So that's what I'm doing. I think I had 14 books on the TBR. I only finished nine of them, so I still have five more books to go to finish up the um, the TBR that I started. I don't know when I started. Maybe. March, June, or July, one of them. <laughs> but I have five books from that, and then I think I have like eight more books that I'm going to put on the new TBR uh, that I'm going to add that I want to read. So I'm trying to finish up. We'll go over the first five books. I think I've already showed them to you before, but I'll show them to you again. And I didn't, I, I didn't even do a uh, mid-year wrap-up, but I'll just, I did a list here, and I'll just go over the books. From all the books I've read this year, I'll just go over the books that I really enjoy and that I want to keep or maybe want to read again. And I will be reading other books by the, these authors. So I wanted to, I really enjoy Ask Me By, Ask Me Why by Hollow Ray. It was a contemporary novel. I've already went over these, so I'm not going to, I haven't figured out how to put a picture up yet of these books. So, <laughs> and I didn't bring the books back again. I'm just going to name them and go over them. But once I figure out how to put a picture up like everybody else be doing, then I'll show a picture of the books that I really enjoy. But for now, I don't even know how to do that. But in, if anybody know how to do that, uh, comment below and let me know. Um, like I said, I, I really enjoy Ask Me Why by Hollow Ray. It was a contemporary. I enjoyed The Midwinter Mail or the Bride. Um, that was book number one in the De Deadlands series by Katie Wilde. It was like a historical fantasy. It was an e-book. I really enjoyed that one. Sex Material by Victoria Ashley. Uh, that was contemporary. Uh, the King Maker uh, in the, in the All the Kings Men series, that book number one in the All All the Kings Men series by Kennedy Ryan, and then book number two, The Rebel King by uh, Kennedy Ryan, All the Men All the Kings Men book number two, really enjoyed that. The Madness of Lord Ian McKenzie, uh, that's in the McKenzie McBride book, and that was book number one by Jennifer Ashley, and then Wild at Heart, book number one in the Wild series by K. A. Tucker. I mean, book number two in the Wild series by K.A. Tucker. So I read all of these for 2020, and I've only really enjoyed, like, books I want to keep or read again. It was only, like, seven of them. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoy some other books, too, but I, these are the ones that I really, really enjoy. And like I said, I, want, I will go back and read them again. Um, books that I'll read over. But the other books that I enjoyed, it wasn't... It wasn't they were books that I would go back and read again. So these are the only ones that I would want to keep and read again. It was a, it was only seven of them out of all the books I read this year. I don't know how many books I've read, but it was only seven that I would really go back and read again. So let's get started with this TBR. Uh, first up, I've mentioned this before. I want to go back and read this. I mean, I wanted to read this because I started it, but I'm not feeling it. And I'm not going to DNF it. So I wrote on here, I put it under the the unfinished book list because I stopped on page uh, 40 and like I what threw me off with this is that he is her brother-in-law uh, her sister has passed away and she's going to come there and help him she's always had a crush on him before and she's going to come and help him with the kids and they're going to go from there with them falling I'm not too much into the sister, when the uh, sister passed away and the other sister come and help out and then they fall in I, they, I don't like that kind of trope. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm not going to DNF, DNF this. I'm just going to put it on the unfinished list. And I'm just going to sit it to the side. And maybe when I'm in a mood for this kind of romance, I'll come back and read it again. Because I don't want to DNF it. And it's Black Eyed Susan by Deborah Camp. Because I look, like Deborah Camp writing. But for now, I wasn't into it. So I'm just going to put it on the unfinished list. And next, I'm reading on Jody Allen Marpa's Gentleman Center. I'm on page 88. I'm not feeling this one too much either. It's, it's not a quick read for me. These are those books that you start reading and you can tell right away that you're not going to be into it. I'm really not into it, but I'm going to finish this. I'm not going to put this on the unfinished list. I'm just going to finish this, but it might be slow going for me because, like I said, I'm on page 88 and it's not doing it for me right now. It's not one of those fast reads that you start reading and can't put down. Yeah, I started reading it and it was like, okay, this is going kind of slow for me. So I'm still reading on that. And next, I also started Lush. And this is book number, what is book, is this book number one? Let me see what this is. I wrote on the list. This is book number three in the Delicious novel, in the Delicious series. 
So you might want to start at book one because it got a lot of characters in here. And I'm like, who is who? Because I started on I started on uh, book three because I, I just ordered this off of a book outlet a while ago, a couple of months back. And I'm just now getting to reading it. And like I, I didn't know it was in a series. I didn't pay it any attention. I just saw it look like she was a chef. I'm into the chef uh, tropes. If it's a chef or a teacher or stuff like that, I want I want to read it. So that's why I got this one. And this one is going kind of slow for me too. I'm on page. Uh, I did make it to page 145. Uh, and it's going. This is not another one that you know you start and you be like, wow, I want to finish because I want to know what happened. No. Nope. This is going kind of slow for me too, but I'm going to finish this one. I'm not going to put it on the unfinished list. I'm going to go ahead and finish it. So I'm reading on these two. So after I get through these, which is not going too good, I'm going to start on uh, book three, Hook Shot in the uh, Kennedy Ryan Hoop series. Yeah, I didn't start from book number one. It don't matter to me. I can start anywhere in the series. It don't matter. But I think this can be a standalone. I think they, I think I've heard people talk about this can be a standalone. So I'm just going to start with book three, and I'm gonna go from there. And then I, I do have book one and book two, but I've, I already had this on my list before. I got book one and book two, and I'm not going to go and change my, uh, I'm not going to change the list up. It was on there, so I'm going to go ahead and read it. So I'll start this after I finish these other two, and then I'm going to finish. Uh, well, start on pestilence after I finish hook shot. I'm going to read this. I've been trying to get to this forever. Haven't made it yet. So Pestilence is on my list. Try to make it through this. And then I had um, one ebook from my old TBR. These, all these books I'm mentioning now are from my old TBR that I'm going to just put on my uh, August TBR. So let me go here and find. Uh, I have two ebooks on here. One of them is from the old TBR and one of them is going to be new uh, on the August TBR. So let me find my books here. So I had Surviving Trace on my old TBR. So I want to finish this. This is like a, this is like a time travel novel. Surviving Trace by Calula Reed. I'm probably not pronouncing that first name correctly but I heard good things about this on um, booktube so I wanted to go and check it out and I love this cover uh, it got the uh, old clock on the back there if you can see it it wa it's watermarked back there love it I love this cover so I hope if I really really enjoy this I'll buy this book for the cover and if I enjoy the book for the uh, read too so hopefully keep my finger crossed the story is as, as good as everybody say it is so I'm keep my finger crossed because just because somebody says good it might not be to your taste that's why I give recommendations but it's up to you how you feel about it because just because I like it don't mean that you're gonna like it so that's how when I read books if people give it a good rating I go into it I might not even like it but I'm hoping that I'll like this one so those are all the books on my old TBR that I'm moving over to my uh, August TBR so let's start with the um, first book that I'm adding to the August TBR that is going to be new uh, and it's going to be an ebook, so let me find it here. And it's going to be Serenade Hard Pass. Tro I guess this is a Trophy Boyfriend uh, series. So I don't know if this is book number one in the series, but I read the synopsis, so let's see what the synopsis says. Uh, I'll read a little bit of it um, about this book. And it's a hard pass. That's what the last girl I slept with said when she got her first sober glimpse of me. She laughed, walked out of my penthouse, and I never saw her again. It doesn't matter that I'm rich, professional athlete. What, what matters was my face. Beauty might only be skin deep for some, but I know better. So when I read this, this he's not going to be the typical uh, good-looking guy. So he must not be that good-looking. So I was all in because... Sometimes you get tired of reading about beautiful people. Sorry. Sorry, beautiful people. <laughs> so I was, when I saw that he's probably not going to be good looking or whatever, but he's a football player because I love sports romances too. So I was like, I'm all in now. So I was like, let me check this out. So this is a uh, serenade. Uh, let me put Hard Pass by Sarah Nay. And I'll put in the description below what book this is in the series because, you know, I never looked that up. So I'll put it in. If I never said what the uh, book, if it's a series and I don't know what book it, what book it is in the series, I will put it in the uh, description below because then I'll go look it up. I never look anything up before I go to. 
before I go to film and I'll be like, uh, I'm just ready to go film. <laughs> so those are my two ebooks for August. Uh, next up, I have a Tonya Washington, The Doctor's Private Visit. This is a Kamani romance. And I picked this up. I read a little bit of this. Uh, I said I wanted to um, check her out. I, I read her a historical about her. I think I gave it three and a half stars. I wouldn't into it too much. But I did like her writing. So I was like, I found this. She does, uh, She wrote for Kamani Romance. So I was like, let me check this out. I read a little bit of the synopsis. When Capri Tom Timmons trace her chaotic Miami life for suburbia, the reserved photographer doesn't realize her fantastic new house come with a gorgeous doc. A gorgeous doctor next door. Sexy, way too easy on the eye. Tiberius Evans is just the kind of man Capri has vowed to steer clear of at all costs. Except the more she resists, the more Tiberius wants her. Tiberius Evans and Capri Thomas. Okay, I like those names. And it sounded interesting. I was like, okay, he's the sexy next door neighbor type. This is the sexy ne next door neighbor trope. <laughs> So I was like, let me give this a try. And I like this cover. If this is their house, if you can see that house, it's a mansion. So I wonder if they're living in uh, one of those fancy neighborhoods where all the houses are like mansions. Because this show look like a mansion. Look like one of those villas in Italy somewhere. But I like this cover. Nice. Next I have Michelle Willingham to send with a Viking. I've been wanting to read some by Michelle Willingham. Uh, check out her uh, books. So I'm going to put this on there on my uh, TBR. This is a uh, Holoquin historical. I read a little bit. Now I'm not even going to be trying to pronounce these names because I think he's Scottish or a Viking or something. And you know they have them hard name to pronounce. Carrick O'Brannon. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Defending herself. Bravely when the enemy landed only now she finds herself alone with very angry Viking Sire look yeah <laughs> Sire Hardata Hardrata yeah <laughs> Sailed to Ireland intending to trade never expecting to find himself held captive and chains by a beautiful Irish maiden So that sounded interesting. So I hope this is good It's a Holoquin historical Try her out. Next, I have the Flappers Baby Scandal. This is from my haul, uh, my Holoquin Historical haul. I told you I was going to, uh, I want to read this because this is about, uh, I guess she's an heiress and she's sneaking out and she's going to meet this FBI agent at, at the, uh, this is set in the 20s. So she's going to a speakeasy, I guess what they call it. And she's going to meet this FBI agent. And when they say he was a lone wolf, I was like, yeah, it's all good. So I'm going to give this a try. I hope this is really good. I really do. Because it, it got a good synopsis. Got all the um, things that I like. He's an FBI agent. Yeah, but I'm not into the uh, secret the secret baby. Yeah, I just, I, I, I like it because he's an FBI agent. So, yeah. <laughs> so I hope it's good. Next, I have Jay Daniels. I don't think I've read anything about Jay Daniels yet, so I wanted to try her out, and this hit the spot. I got this from Ollie's. I think I did an Ollie. Uh, I went to Ollie's, and I did a little video of me in the store at Ollie's. I'm, I don't know if I, it was on that video when I got this book, but I got this from Ollie's, and I think I paid, like, it went maybe $2 for this book from Ollie's. Um, they are good. Store if you want looking for some half price books at Ollie's if you have Ollie's at your Ollie's bargain bin I think it's Ollie's Ollie's bargain store or something like that and they have books in there and you know they're cheap if you want to bargain on some books so sometimes you can find some good ones in there and sometimes you can't find anything but I've been hearing things by Jay Daniels and when I saw this I had to get it and this is the hot spot read a little bit of this Tori Riviera thinks Jamie McKay is rude, arrogant, and worst of, worst of all, the sexiest man she ever laid eyes on. His reputation is a as a player is almost as legendary as his surfing skills. So when I saw that he was a surfer, because you don't have too many books with the occupation as a surfer. I like books with like different occupation that you've never heard of in romances, and surfing is one of them. Because I haven't read anything. Usually the book is on like he's a businessman. Or, or he's a billionaire or something like that. But you never hear of those occupations like he's a, he's, he's a surfer or he's a skier or something like that. You don't hear that too much. Uh, let me finish this. Yeah, I done went all off. No matter how her body heats up when he's around, she's determined not to be another meaningless hookup. 
So when I like I said when I heard he was a surfer, I was all in. And in his book, you know the first you know the uh, female she can't stand the guy because he rude and arrogant but then she's attracted to him why he why it just can't be that she can't stand him and then he has to work on making her really like him i would like to read a book like that where she really you know she she thinks he's good looking but she's not attracted to him in that way because you know he's rude and arrogant and he he done turned her off but you know he keep trying and then she slowly kind of start having feeling for him yeah I, can, can we get a book like that okay <laughs> And this is the hot spot by Jay Daniels. I'll try that one out. I done had this book right here forever because do y'all remember Laura K? Is Laura K still in, in, in business? I haven't been on back on that site in a long, long time. Those that site is for if you like steamy erotica romances. Uh, yeah. Elora's Cave is where you need to go. But I haven't heard anything about Elora's Cave in a while. But I started reading Lisa Marie Rice from there. And I really enjoy her books. Uh, I read so many of her books that I read myself out. But I still have this one that hasn't been read. So I'm going to read it. Hopefully it don't sound like the other ones. Because like I mentioned before. Once you start reading the author. And you just keep reading all her books. And reading them, reading them back to back. Because that's how I do. When I found an author that I love. Really, really love. I go to read all her books. I, maybe that's on me. Maybe I don't need to read them back to back to back. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's my fault. <laughs> but this is Elisa Marie Rice. And I think most of her books were like romantic suspense. And I think this is what this is. Because it said Woman on the Run. And as you can see, it said Laura Cave. Maybe this was a breathless novel. I don't know. But like I said, if it's in a series, I'll put it down below. Let's read some of this. Woman on the Run. What's a girl to do? Sophisticated. With this urbanite, Julia DeRoe loves her life. What's not to love? What's not to love? A fabulous job in publishing, wonderful friends, gorgeous apartment, the company of her beautiful, though temperamental, Siamese, Siamese cat, Federico Fellini, <laughs> Fellini, Federico Fellini, that's the name of her cat. She's got it made. And then Julia has the bad taste to witness a mob murder. And her life goes straight down the toilet. Under the witness secret, under the witness security program, Julia is relocated to the boondocks. A hundred miles from the nearest bookstore and it's an Estelada outlet. Where where the only fast food is dear and the only entertainment is sick with a with a laconic local rancher. Luckily, talking isn't what Sam Cooper does best. Okay, this sounded interesting. I hope this is good. <laughs> what it said. Uh, luckily, talking isn't what Sam Cooper does best. Okay, what he does best, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Woman on the Run, Lisa Marie Rice. So that sounded interesting. And these next two books are from Reveal Book Box. I haven't got to them. These been a, I don't had these for a while, so I'm like, let me throw these on here. Uh, first up is Book Boyfriend. This is book number one in the Book Boyfriend series. And this is about Claire Kingsley. Let's see what this is. Alice Lawson might as well be the hottest book boyfriend imaginable. imaginable. A fun, romantic, possessive... Sorry, the camera went out. Where was I at? A fun, romantic, possessive, panty-melting man. And the best part, he's real. For a girl like me, a slightly awkward book addict, Alec is a dream come true, straight off the pages of my favorite romance novel. So, when I said slightly awkward book addict, slightly awkward book addict, I was like, okay, I want to read this. And this this is very small. Let's see how many pages in here. Three, 215 pages, so this should be pretty quick. I hope I like it and uh, if I don't and it goes kind of slow but like I said it's 200 and some pages so I should get through that pretty quick even if it is kind of slow. I hope hopefully I can continue to read it. Hopefully I won't have any DNFs or unfinished books in this <laughs> in this TBR. Okay. <laughs> and next I have Office Made by Katie Ashley. I like this cover. And so let's read the back of this. This is another uh, book from the uh, Romance Reveal book. Like I think I mentioned it 
that both of these are from Romance Reveal Book Box. So I always try to put a Romance Reveal Book Box on my TBR so I can read those books. And if I don't like them, I can get them up out of here. Yeah. So let's read the back of this. I think I might already read this because, like I said, it from my Reveal Book Box. But I'll read it again. From the first time I played Army as a kid, the military has been my life. As an airborne major, I led my men through two tours in Afghanistan. Afghanistan. But when my father was elected president, I became an e even greater target for the enemy, a prize for someone to take out. To ensure not only the safety of myself but of my men, I, I got stripped of my camis, shoved into an Armani suit, and placed into a, man a management position at my father's company. After years of trekking through the desert with an assault rifle, I was way out I was way out of my area of expertise, which my transition coordinator was more than happy to let me know on a daily, if not hourly basis. The brunette bombshell would be the death of me in more ways than one, especially since I hadn't been with a woman since my last deployment. She's turning out to be one of the greatest foes I've ever done battle with. Okay, so that sounded good too, and this is small too. Let's see how many pages in here. Oh, and this is all white pages, people. You know how I feel about these white pages, but yeah. So let's see here. Uh, this is 253 pages. So hopefully uh, I can just fly right through this one also. I hope I hope I really love it. I love this cover, Office Mate. So those are my books for uh, August. All of these. So hopefully I can get through most of these. And come back and let you know how I thought about them. So that's all I have for now. Uh, if you're doing any TBR, I know some people don't like doing TBR because, like I said, it's hard to finish all these books, especially when you read them and then you're like, oh, I feel, really don't feel like reading this right now. But, you know, you don't said you did the TBR, so you want to finish. So, yeah, I know. So, let me know if any of you are doing any TBRs for this month and what books you're reading. Have any of you read any of these? Let me know. But that's all I have for now. Until next time, keep reading those books and I will see you later. Bye.